Okay, today we are going to learn how to make a paper snowflake. So I've got a regular piece of copy paper here. The thinner the paper is, the easier it is to cut. Um, I'm going to take this top edge and I'm going to line it up with this side edge to make this top part look like a triangle. So I have to pull it down, line it up with this edge. It doesn't need to be past it need to be over here and you're going to end up making a perfect point on the corner there so I'm going to line it up I'm not creasing it yet I'm not pressing down because I'm not got it lined up the way I want to yet and I'm going to come up here to this corner and make sure that it is perfectly lined up and then line up that edge perfectly the more time you take with this the better your snowflake will be and once I have that settled, I'm going to press down right here on this edge and I'm going to push my paper this way so that my crease is even and right where I want it to be. So I'm pushing and I'm pressing that paper away from me to get that perfect crease. Now I don't need this rectangle here. I can use it later to make more smaller snowflakes, but I don't need it right now. So I'm going to cut that off. Trying to make a really straight cut, taking my time. No need to rush. Okay, so now I have a triangle shaped piece of paper. It's my square folded in half. And you can see there it is folded. This is the creased edge. So I'm going to fold this triangle in half down the middle center line right here. Line up my two edges. And make sure that my corners are lined up and not like this or like this. This is a good way to get better at your folding. Okay, and then I'm going to hold this down and crease it like I did the first time, pushing towards where the fold is going to be so that my crease, I don't mess up my paper folding it. Okay, now I have a smaller triangle. And on this one, I'm going to fold it in half one more time. The middle of my triangle is here. I can't divide my triangle in half this way because it wouldn't be symmetrical. I have to divide it symmetrically. Snowflakes are all about symmetry. It's like nature's geometry. So I'm going to crease that. And now I can start to cut. I've got all my folded edges here and all my open edges here. I want the open edges up. Folded edges to the side and then you can see there's all those open edges there up top. Folded edges are right here. And now I can start to cut. I'm going to cut if I had I could draw a line here. I'm going to draw a curved line and I'm going to cut on that line. You don't have to draw that line, but I'm drawing it so you can see it. And then we're going to cut right there to create a curve. Now, if you keep this piece of paper, you can see what I've done. If I unfold this, I have basically just cut the edges off of my paper. Because it was folded, it made it really easy. And that means the paper that I let have left when I'm done with it, it's going to be a circle. But I don't need this, so I can go recycle that. Then I can cut shapes out of this edge, this edge, and this edge. Down here at the bottom of my ice cream cone shape, this would actually be the center of my circle when I open it up. So if I cut out here, I will have an opening in the center. So I'm going to cut a little triangle. You can cut any shapes you want to out of this at this point, as long as they don't run into each other and you cut your snowflake apart. So maybe here I'm going to cut a little trapezoid shape out. And then maybe a little rectangle shape. And maybe a, a half circle here. So since folded, it'll be a whole circle when I open it up. 
and then maybe a little rectangle out of the top corner there. Now I can cut across the top here as well. I'm going to cut some triangles. Maybe one last triangle right there. Now I can cut on this side. I can cut closer towards the center as long as I don't ma match up and touch where I've already cut because that would just cut my snowflake apart. And I'm making sure when I cut that I'm using the inside part of my scissors. If I just cut with the tip of the scissors like that, it's not going to cut the paper very well. I get more leverage when I cut with the inside part of the scissors. And then I can go recycle all of my little scraps here and open my snowflake up and see what I've got. And there you have it. That is a really basic cut snowflake. Hope you enjoy. Thanks.